Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to perform service pack upgrade from SUSE Linux Enterprise Server for SAP application 12SP32 SP5. I am having the SUSE Linux server which is running on the Azure Microsoft Azure platform. So today I am going to perform service pack upgrade from SP32 SP5. Before starting the migration, make sure we have to take the VM full snapshot backup. In my case, I already have the Azure VM snapshot backup. From operating system perspective, we need to take some pre-artifact. For example, whatever repository we have, like that repository information we need to take backup. So using this command, we, we can take the repository backup. Also, whatever software installed on our system, like RPM files, that backup also we need to take. Next step, we need to take system current configuration output like using system CTL, CTL command, we can take the required backup, everything. So also there is one more, one more command like command line putting parameter also we need to take backup. So these are the mandatory pre-checks pre uh, before starting the migration. So make sure you must have the snapshot backup, also the CTL backup, also repository information and the installed software plus the command line output backup. So all the information stored on the uh, backup mount pine so if record you can copy this file into a local desktop in my case i'm keeping the server itself so there is a one more file configuration file backup we need to take that is zipper configuration file this file is same like uh, m.conf file in suci linux there is a configuration file that is called a zipper.conf file so take the backup of that file and also there is a one more parameter we need to disable on this file so that is called a multi-version kernel uh, you can see there is a multi-version that field we have this particular parameter uh, we need to disable and this and this parameter let me highlight that so this line and this line during the upgrade this parameter we need to disable and 539 make it disable and there is one more line 572 so disable this line also So make sure these two lines must be disabled prior to the service back upgrade. So I have done the same. Now next I am proceeding with the further steps. We can perform migration using two methods. There is two type of methods available. One is online migration. Second one is offline migration. So in our case, we are going to choose online migration. So let me discuss about online migration. Before starting the online migration, make sure our system must be registered with the SUSI customer center. For example, your VM must be have the license like it must be registered with the SUSE customer center then only we can able to get the record software update for the online migration the first step we need to validate whether this VM is connected to the SUSE customer center or any of the CSP providers SMT repo or if you have the own SUSE manager in my case the VM is an Azure, Azure platform so I am validating that whether this VM is connected to the connected to the Azure SMT repo or not. So using this command, we can see my V it is showing as a register. Before starting the upgrade, we need to install the zipper migration plugin. So I am checking whether this package is already installed or not. I hope it's already installed. Yeah. So using this command, we can see this package is installed. If not installed, you can install it using zipper in, in this command. Next. We have to take the what is the current OS version. So I am validating the current OS version is it's SUSE Linux Server 12 SP3. So there is a command called a zipper migration. Using this command, we can perform the zip, it's like service pack migration. Using zipper migration command, we can upgrade the system into the next service pack available version. So you can see here it is asking me to choose the migration which version we need to jump so there are two available migration so you can see here uh, there is an option we can directly jump into sp5 or else we can go to sp4 then sp5 so i thought initially it, uh, direct jump is not possible but it is available we can use that so we now i am going to choose option one to perform uh, upgrade the system into the directly sp5 from sp3 to sp5 let me choose option one 
I have selected my target, so it is preparing for the upgrade. We can see it is started downloading the required packages from the available repository. Let's wait for the download. So once the package is downloaded into the system, it will start perform the migration like service pack upgrade. If you see here, these are the product going to get update. So the one is current version of this operating system. SP3, also the live patching package, also the software development kit SDK. Also, these are the 29 packages will get updated during the migration. And it's asking me to give yes. Let me give yes and make it enter. So it is asking me to choose like the license agreement. And just if you want, you can read the agreement or else press Q to quiet. So make yes, you want to agree with this terms and condition, yes. And press Q and make it yes again. Q. So accept all the license agreement, then it will start to apply the service pack upgrade. The migration will take some time. So it will depend on your internet speed. We can see migration has been successfully completed and my OS upgraded into the latest service pack version. Now it's a time to roll back the zipper configuration file. So earlier we have disabled that multi version kernel upgrade line. So I'm reverting the changes now. Suppose that and uh, we need to validate whether the SUSI SMT repo connectivity is fine or not. So using this SUSI connect iPhone S, we can see it is still showing as a register. Yeah, it looks fine. Also make sure the system having the latest kernel. Yeah. So the system with having the latest kernel and we can take the latest installed kernel and go to the SUSI site and validate. So what the when the kernel has been released. We can see the kernel registered on 10th August. Now it's a time to reboot the system. Let's reboot the system. Yeah, system has been rebooted successfully. Let me take new session and validate the OS version. Yes, we can see the system successfully upgraded into the latest service pack version. So this is a method like online online migration using zipper utility how to perform service pack upgrade on SUSI Linux system. I hope you like this video. Thanks. Thanks for watching.